Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Corey and I do like skin, hair, fashion, all kinds of videos. So if you're interested in those, please subscribe. <laughs> But today's video is going to be about how I cured my back acne. So the photos in the thumbnail are me and that is my back. I feel like I'm a, that sounded so weird, but it's my back. Um, and I don't really know why I broke out, but I think it has something to do um, with like hormones and stuff like that. But all of a sudden I was just like, wow, this isn't great and I was ready to throw away half of my wardrobe because all of it has my back out. And around the time when it happened, I didn't want to wear any clothes that have my back out. And I was like, wow, clearly I need to shop different. Um, so I was just really insecure about it. So I wanted to figure out a way to get rid of it. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys the products and other tips and tricks that I use to get rid of my back acne. And I would say that it took about it took about two weeks for me to stop getting new bumps. And then I'd say it took probably two to three months for all the scars to go away. I wanna give you guys a realistic time frame for whether or not it's gonna go away because I know people are like, overnight, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so I just wanna be realistic. Um, so the first product that I first, I kinda of wanna talk about them in tandem because I use them together. Um, so the first product is the CeraVe, SA rough and bumpy what is it rough and bumpy skin so it's a body wash and it's also a lotion and I'm gonna look it up when I edit the video but I want to say they're both like $12 they're low-key kind of expensive for body wash but I do feel like they really did work um so I used this every time I got in the shower and then I used this every time I got out of the shower um and I used the loofah because this does not like if you try to use like a rag or your hand or anything it's literally not gonna suds up at all but a loofah it suds up really really well so I recommend a loofah because loofahs also offer exfoliation and I feel like that's something else that helped with the bumps so using these two I stopped getting bumps I want to say in like two weeks please keep in mind that I was very consistent. Like I used both of these literally every single day and that I feel like that's why I saw results really quickly. Um, and my first focus was getting rid of the bumps and these two definitely did that. I don't think any of the other steps that I'm gonna talk about really contributed to like less bumps other than like these two. Um, the second one I want to talk about, hey, just lied, but the second one I want to talk about that contributed was I was running a lot and doing sweaty things. So if you do stuff like that, you literally have to take those clothes off as soon as you're done, like doing the activity. And if you can't just try your best, try to like get somewhere where you can take your clothes off and take a shower. If you can't take a shower, try to like wipe your back, but do your best to prevent buildup and sweat from accumulating on your skin because that's going to exacerbate the problem so do your best to change clothes i know sometimes it always can't happen or you're just tired and you lay down but do your best to get in the shower right after you're done being like sweaty or even if you're just in dirty clothes do your best to take those off um i would say also do your best to wash your seats often but i don't so i'm not even gonna lie to y'all so that might not affect y'all at all because mine cleaned up and i do not be washing my sheets the right amount of times don't call me dirty in the comments i'm sorry it's just too hard take it all off the bed okay whatever that's beside the point um the next product i want to talk about is for the dark marks that were left behind um so it is the murad rapid age spot and pigment lightening serum so this is a facial product this is not a product that's specific to like body but i just feel like if you can use it on your face then like why wouldn't you be able to use it on your skin i feel like it's the other way around like if it's meant for your body you can't necessarily use it on your face but if it's meant for your face baby you can do whatever so that's what i'd be doing so i honestly also not a dermatologist so i don't know if the way i was using this is like okay but because i had so many bumps i literally would just i would just take a pump and just like spread it all over my back so that I would hit all of the marks. And granted, you're only supposed to put it on like the problem area, but it was all a problem area. 
So I just put it everywhere. Like I don't know if that's gonna have detrimental effects on the skin that wasn't blemished. I literally couldn't tell you. However, my back is even and the skin tone is even, even though I put it places that didn't necessarily have dark marks, but I had a lot of dark marks as well. So I really feel like this played a huge role in how fast my dark marks went away. Um, I think without it, it would have been a lot slower. It would have happened, but like a lot, a lot slower. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This product is expensive. And I'm gonna look it up and I'll put it on the screen, but I wanna say it's like, 70 to 90 dollars and maybe i'm overshooting but i really remember it hurting my pockets every time i get it so it is really really expensive and if you want me to like try and find some dupes for you guys make a video on that please comment down below because i know everybody does not have the money to spend on skincare like that because it's just out of this world ridiculous so this is something i will say really, really helped and this also really helps for face i also feel like my sister had a lot of dark marks on her forehead that's how i found out about the product and her forehead cleared up in like two to three weeks it was crazy how fast her forehead cleared up so if you're struggling with dark marks on your face the murad this would also work really really well for you so next it wasn't a product but i did a turmeric mask and in my turmeric mask i would use honey, yogurt, and turmeric, and I would just spread it all over my back. I would let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off in the shower. And I wasn't too consistent with the mask. I was more consistent with it when I first started out and I was really doing my best to like speed up the process as fast as I could. And I do feel like it helped. I feel like my skin was like smoother as well. So if you're consistent with that, I think you'll definitely see results in tandem with like the other products that I talk about. And then the other thing that I did was I made a papaya scrub. So they sell papayas at Walmart. And I kind of felt like papayas were a little fancy. So I was a little surprised, but they sell papayas at Walmart. So they're really easy to get. And I think I took like the skin and the seeds and I just put it in a blender. And then I literally just rubbed it on my back and then also let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes this was very annoying and the papaya would fall everywhere and we pie in the shower but my skin was so smooth i feel like it also helped with the light marks so it's just something else to kind of help with the process if you're looking for other ways especially if you like can't afford the murad serum this is another way to kind of help speed up the lightening process and i personally feel like it really really worked and if you're more consistent with the turmeric mask and papaya scrub than I was and I feel like you'll see results even faster. So those are a couple DIYs you can use to help get rid of your um, scars. But I wanna say for the bumps, the main key is probably just to find a body wash with salicylic acid. I think that's how you say it. Not really sure, but that's apparently what um, exfoliates and like gets in your pores and really helps. And it has that in this body wash and in the lotion. So I feel like both of them working together really did a good job to help clear up my scars and my bumps. Um, and then the last product I want to talk about is something that I am not 100% sure contributed, but I did incorporate it into my routine for a period of time. So I want to talk about it. Um, so it is the Ordinary Niacinamide and I think Zinc solution. Um, so it's another face product that's not meant for the skin, but you're supposed to use it twice a day and it's supposed to help with like acne and scars and stuff like that. So I did use it twice a day and I'm not 100% sure if it is something that catalysted my skin to do better, but it was a part of my routine while everything was clearing up. So I thought I should mention it. Um, on the times where I fell, I fell off on this mainly just because I ran out and I didn't buy anymore even though this is the cheapest of all the products only like six dollars so go Corey <laughs> but um I fell off and I didn't really see my bumps spike up or my scars like not fade away as fast so I'm not sure how much this does but it has really really good reviews and if you need something else in your routine to kind of give you more exfoliation and stuff like that it might be a good option for you um, and so my last tip is really to just be consistent and figure out what works for you. So this is what works for me. Um, these products have a lot of good reviews, honestly, on like Amazon and everywhere. So they'll probably be good for you as well. Um, I'm going to make another video on keratosis. Can't say the second part, but KP because I have that too. And I also used 
the CeraVe products for that and I saw some improvement so I'm gonna do a review on that in another video but I really do feel like even if it doesn't necessarily clear up your acne it will make your skin smoother um, and softer so I definitely recommend the CeraVe products and I definitely recommend the Murad products if you're looking to get rid of scars or anything like that so thank you guys so much for watching the video um, please like comment and subscribe definitely comment down below and tell me any videos you would like to see or if you have any questions I would love to answer them. So thank you guys very much for watching. See ya.